welcome to episode 2 of series 5 of Master League Story Mode. If you watched the first episode of this series, which was a little bit like going back to school I'd imagine, you'd had a bit of a history lesson to start off with, followed by an in-depth tactical lesson, then I salute you, I think we're going to be good friends and I think you're really going to enjoy this series, and as a reward for your perseverance and not being put off by me droning on for nearly half an hour without actually playing any football, today we're going to look at some proper signings we're going to make some bids, and we're going to play our first game of the series. So that's definitely worth sticking around for, and I promise, I promise we'll actually play some football. That is a guarantee from me to you. So we've been through the first steps of the series, the standards, looking at the manager, looking at the tactics, looking at our own team, who we can transfer list, and now we move on. Next step is to uh, send out the scouts. As we mentioned, they have to be in England to begin with. I think we're going to look for a striker, and we're going to look for a still developing striker. We're going to ignore the budget see what the best we can get is uh we're gonna look for a keeper as well overall rating ignore the budget and i think we're gonna look for a dmf here we may end up finding a dmf who can also play it right back they they exist we'll look for a young guy no we'll look for a utility player defensive midfielder that almost certainly will be someone who can play it right back as well and we'll ignore the budget there there we are scouts are out flying through this now and I think before we get into the first game, I'm just going to have a quick look at Argentina and Chile, uh, our two linked nations. And uh, we'll, again, we're going to look at the uh, positions that we've already got on our shopping list, centre forward being one of them. We'll look in Argentina first. Um, I'd quite like a young striker, someone that we can develop. Obviously, we know that our limit is 76. So we'll just drop that down. We know that we can deal with any of these players. And we want someone who's decent at finishing. So I'm going to go with 79 finishing. There we go. That leaves us with one player. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be our guy. And he's not real. Okay. Forget the finishing. Forget that. We can build on that. Let's just see what we've got here. 131 to choose from. Uh, Fernandez. Little guy. Plays out of the left wing as well. He's not as quick as I would have hoped for someone of his height. Uh, I'm not going to really look at anyone with one out of five chance. That's going to make things difficult. Hang on, this guy looks nice. Romero, interesting. Attacking prowess, 77. That's good. Good on the ball, 77 finishing. That's a lot to work with. He's only 19 as well. He's at PSV at the moment. He's quick. Acrobatic finishing, first time shot. Yep, like it. Definitely going to go with it. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> this is the new negotiation system. Interesting. Okay, so we go straight into negotiations. At this level. Very interesting. I wonder if this is it. Whether this, if they accept this, this is done or they come back with another bid. So PSV, PSV want 5.9 million for him, which is over half of our existing transfer budget. Um, will they accept any trades? No, they're being a bit tight on this guy. They don't want to sell him. So yeah, they want a lot of money. Negotiation is going to be tough. They're barely meeting their terms as it is. Mm, okay. Will a sell-on option help? If we give them 55% of whatever our sell-on fee is, then we could raise that slightly. All right, we'll give we'll give them a, we'll give them 30% of a 54% chance of signing. I feel like we're in Dragon's Den. 63% uh, of chance of signing. The player seems quite quite happy actually. Doesn't want an extra year. We'll give him a big old goal bonus just to really make him happy. Uh, we'll try that. There we go. We'll try and get five negotiations done right now, just quickly. So we're going to switch this slightly and we're going to look for a uh, left or right hand winger. We need backup. Again, I think we want to uh, look for someone fairly young. We'll go with 24. I'm not so bothered about finishing, but I would like someone who can cross at least half decent crossing. So we'll go with 70 there and we'd like a bit of pace. So I think we want 75 pace. What does that end us up with? 30. Okay, it's all right. That isn't across the whole of Argentina, though. Um, I'm going to ignore these ones because that's going to be difficult. Although this 19-year-old at Colon looks very good. But no, the ones is going to be too difficult. So Barrios at San Lorenzo. Attacking midfielder by trade but can play on the wing. Got great power. Interesting. Uh, Malini. Oh, he looks good. Not really a winger, though. I would like someone who can actually properly play as a winger. Uh, Isnaldo from uh, Defence Ejustica. 
What a great name that is for a side. Um, no, no. This guy looks decent though. 71 rated. Is at Boca at the moment. 23 years old. He's quick. He can cross. Can't really finish. We'll put him on the list. I'm not seeing much here really to excite me. Uh, we'll try the same search in Chile. Aran Sibia. 70 rated. Yeah, he would be good. Is it Universidad Chile? 22 years old. Just a little, little winger, but he's quick. Strong on the ball. Decent passer. I think as a backup, he'd be just fine. So we'll put in a bid for him. They want 2 million for him. That's reasonable. Uh, they don't want to negotiate at all. Could we trade one of our players that we don't want? Who's worth roughly 2 million? Like, I don't know. Would you accept a, uh, a Welsh striker by the name of T. Roberts? Yes, they would. That takes a little bit of money off, down to 1.6 million. That's fine. Chances of signing, well, he's 73% there. Yeah, he's happy with that. We'll give him a gold bonus and we'll try and get that salary down a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So 400,000. Good backup. We needed a backup winger. That could do the trick. So we've got a centre forward and a winger. Bid for. Next stop is to find the, what could be very, very difficult to uh, locate, which is one of these uh, basically inverted fullbacks. So we need someone who can play. I think, we, as I said, we're going to stick with the guy we've got on the left. We could do with a right back who can play at central midfield. Or the opposite of that, basically. Uh, we'll take that ability off. We don't care about the age. We just need someone who can do it. There's 58 of them in Argentina, under 76 rated. And not many of them are available for us to sign. And we want someone, really, who's either a central midfielder or a right back who can play in both positions rather than just happens to be able to play in a load of different positions. Uh, Luna at Belgrano. Uh, he's all right, isn't he? He's all right. He's 31 years. He's not. That's not ideal, really, is it? That's not ideal at all. We'll try that same position in Chile. If there's anything here, I'll be surprised. So the best one we've seen here is right at the top of this is Isla, or Isla. I can't remember how you pronounce it. He's at Fenerbahce, 30 years old. He would tick all the boxes. I'm going to try a loan bid for him. 90% um, chance of signing. I'm quite a big fan of that. Add an option to buy. He doesn't fancy the option to buy. So we'll just go with a uh, season-long loan for Isla. That could be the answer to our problems there. So we're also looking for a defensive midfielder. Are there any uh, rugged Chilean defensive midfielders uh, who would fancy a go in the championship? Pizarro. I mean, he'd be quality. Great ball winner. Great defensive prowess. Big lad. He could be... The register that we've been looking for. Interesting. Did we already put in a bid for a free agent? We did, didn't we? Oh no, we put in a loan bid. Okay. We'll go for this then. We'll try this. Uh, we'll see if we can get his salary down a bit. It's not like he's going anywhere. Give him a goal bonus. Why not? It's not like you're going to score any goals in that position. We'll give you a two-year contract. Decent. So let's just take a look at who we've, uh, we've got lined up. Isla, he'd be great. I'd really, really like to sign him. Oh, they want two million for the loan. I didn't even notice that price. That's that is a lot. That certainly is a lot of money. Um, but he would be excellent. He could well be exactly the player we need in that position. And also, pretty adaptable. We could play him in other positions. Pizarro on a free. That would be great, wouldn't it? Great defensive midfield option. And then Romero, the striker, maybe. And then Rancibia, a cheap bit of wing backup. Yeah, I'd be happy with all four of them. And while we're at it, we might as well put a bid in for Emi Buendia, because who doesn't want Emi Buendia in our side? I certainly do want him in our side. We could maybe trade someone for him, like Pierce. Gets us a little bit of cash off, 2 million. And uh, would obviously offer him a healthy goal bonus, because I don't think that's going to be an issue. He wants a release fee. Come on, Emi. Come on. Okay, fine. We'll, we'll go with that. Right, so those are our initial transfers out of the way. We've got everyone listed we want to list. The scout is out doing his work. I think that means we should just get into the first game, shouldn't we? Bielsa's debut. Let's go. So at this point, I've noticed that our missions has been updated and we've got our first mission. And uh, the owner wants us to win the International Champions Cup. And for those of you unaware, the owner of Leeds is Andrea Radrizzani. Uh, he took over from the previous owner, Massimo Salino, and he was an absolute nut job. Salino and Bielsa at the club together would have been incredible, but Salino was running the place into the ground and going through managers at an incredible pace. Um, but Radrizzani seems to have steadied the ship a little in the last year, and uh, bringing in Bielsa obviously was a huge coup. Uh, I would have thought that he would give Bielsa a fairly 
long bit of rope to hang himself. Is that an expression? Is that the right expression for that situation? I don't know. You'd think he'd have time, especially coming in and trying to implement all these new strategies and styles and uh, way of playing football. As we've said, in real life, in the summer, he had a long time to uh, draw that into his players. We've got basically two days now to adapt to this new formation. And as a result, we're at 48% team spirit, which is going to make things very, very difficult against Celtic today. But it is what it is. Um, everyone looking okay. Oh, Pablo on a downward arrow. So I think we'll bring in... Oh, we can't bring in Alois. I suppose we could play Size out there. Play Baker there. And we'll bring back in Klitsch. And that brings us down to 44. And then Ailing needs a rest as well. So this is going to hit us badly. And that's 44 still with Berardi coming in. Okay, not ideal. Switch Berardi to that side. There we go. Okay, 44 team spirit. Let's just remind ourselves of our style. It's a counter-attacking short pass style. Down the centre initially. Hoping to use Douglas Phillips and Klitsch and Baker there to overload them in midfield. Although they're playing three at the back as well, so it could be quite tight. And then we've got the wide wingers who we need to be looking for when they are given some space. Up against Celtic today, managed by Brendan Rodgers. Olivier and Cham is in there. They've got Dembele up front, obviously, who is incredibly dangerous. This is going to be a very difficult start. We've also got the 68 rated keeper in goal, who isn't going to make things easy for us there. Come on then. So I actually quite like the fact that our team spirit is so low to begin with. There's no doubt that at the beginning of the summer, wherever Bielsa came into Leeds, it would have been a shock to the system. The work rate necessary, the uh, positional awareness in this new style, certainly something that a lot of these players won't have ever experienced. And it's going to take a while for them to gel. Hopefully bringing in some players that are more comfortable in those positions will help our team spirit but until we get to mid 60s nearing 70 then this is going to be like running through treacle it's going to be very very difficult i would expect to get soundly beaten by these three sides in the icc but at least it'll give us a chance to maybe build up an extra three or four team spirit points which could be absolutely vital when we start off the season proper all right come on then a lot of you can uh, play for places today there is jack harrison with a proper face but yeah, a lot of the players in today with Hernandez out uh, have got a chance to play their way into this side. Let's do it. Klitsch makes a mistake, allows Forrest away from him. Ball back to Scott Brown. That's a lovely ball into Forrest. What a ball in that is. Oh my God. Nearly a big, big mistake there. And they get the ball back straight away though, Celtic. Brown will put a dangerous looking ball into the box. That's well headed away. And that's just about cleared there. Forrest, good ball into Griffiths, but that's well cut out. Oh, nice ball into Jack Harrison. His first chance to run at this defence. Cutting inside. He's got Bamford with him making a run. That's a good ball into size. Out to Patrick Bamford. He'll have the first shot of the Bielsa era. Straight into the gloves of Gordon. And that's better. That's the sort of counter-attack we want to see. Short passing along the floor. No long balls, but getting up the pitch quickly. And uh, it was a good interaction between the front three. Space out on the left here. Where is Douglas? He's still forward. That's a great ball, though, to find Samu Says. Samu says, get the fuck up. Still says, gets the shot off. Oh, what a finish. I think the keeper might have been unsighted there by the defender. But what a way to introduce yourself this season. Samu says, get the fuck in. And that was incredible. And he celebrates there with Jack Harrison and Paddy B. We've got a few real legends of this channel already in the same team. I think that bodes well. And what a way to start this one. And he picked the ball up on the halfway line, driving forward. He had options either side of him. A little touch inside. And then he's hit that one very, very well. The defender will be disappointed not to have got a touch on it. I think the keeper maybe was expecting that. But there we go. Sam who says, well, we said he could be one of the big players for us this season. He's got a nice spread of stats alongside great balance. Strength on the ball. And he's hit that one very sweetly. Gordon just couldn't get down quick enough. And we're off the mark here in the ICC. Oh, we've got them pinned back here. And that's a good ball out to say. He's got Bamford and Harrison in the middle. Ball in with the left foot. Boyata gets the header away. And then Cham will continue. But we've got space here. And time for a pass to be picked out. Says into Bamford. Oh, that's fancy. And Bamford with the right foot. He's got a powerful shot on him. Thought he was going to flick it over his head there. The first touch. Just up in the air from Paddy B. Thought then he was going to flick it over the defender, but he turned well onto his weaker right foot. It's a decent effort. Finishing and shot power, not an issue for Bamford. 
As we'll see, though, there are a lot of other issues with his game. Find Scott Brown again, the captain. Up against Klitsch, and that's not a great ball. And we can come away here. And once again, we've got to launch a quick break. And Samu says now, the goal scorer, spotted the run of Klitsch. The wing back now looks for Harrison. Up against Scott Brown, he skips away from him. Low ball in, looking for Bamford. Almost very nice once again. Lovely counter-attacking play here from Leeds. Ball into Dembele. He's got two with him. Goes back out to Forrest. That's a good ball. Janssen looking to hold him up. Forrest into Incham. Short ball to Brown. Oh, it was so nice. Up until the... Oh, and that's a foul in the box. Thank God. Well, Celtic coming back into this one in a big way. Putting the pressure on us as half-time approaches. But that will be half-time here. And what a start to the Bielsa reign. I think we've made an excellent account of ourselves today. We've broken quickly and with purpose, which has always been the game plan. And we've had all the efforts, not a single shot off target or on target for Celtic. Uh, I'd be very curious to see the heat maps of some of our players, just to see where they're operating. So Janssen, he is the sweeper. And he, yep, he's, he's staying pretty, uh, pretty much where we want him to be. Berardi and Cooper with a little bit more license to roam, but not too much. That's ideal. Phillips, the register. Yep, he's staying back, covering the defence. That's exactly where we want him. Now, Douglas and Klitsch, this is where I'm interested. So these guys are left and right back when defending, but then in theory, central midfielders. They're not really getting forward much, but I guess that's where we want them. It's not too bad. Not spending much time in the left or right back position, really. Could be a problem getting caught on the break down there. Uh, Baker, yep, through the centre. That's where we want him. He could maybe be playing a tiny bit further forward. And then Sayes and Harrison, yep. Out on the wings, that's where we want them. Uh, they're getting back a bit more than I'd like, but that's fine. And then Patrick Bamford, maybe not enough touches in the box. That's fine. Good stuff. Right, let's keep it going. All over the top into Griff here. So a lot of space for him here. Dembele's got ahead of his man. Scott Brown. Ah, oh, that's poor. We just switched off there. No more to be said about that. And just very, very lax. Very, very... Ah, oh, that's... That's really poor. It's a nice cut back from Dembele and Scott Brown with the easy finish. Bielsa will not be happy with that. We've done so well up to that point. It's the first shot of any sort for Celtic. Out to Patrick Bamford. Twists and turns away from Lustig. Draws the defenders. Still Bamford. Still Bamford. He'll line up a shot with the right foot. Oh, gets a big deflection on the way through and he's won a corner here. Janssen, great ball into Harrison. Little flick into Baker. Back to Jack Harrison. Ooh, and that is a crunching tackle. On the England number 21 star. Oh, but that's a great challenge. And now Bamford finds Harrison. It's away from Lustig. Oh, that's a big challenge again. Harrison getting a bit beaten up here. Rogic now. Out wide. Celtic pressing. Looking for a second. That's a great ball into Dembele. He plays it back out to Rogic. That's smart play. Get the clearance in the end. Bamford just about wins that header, but we can't get it clear. Sinclair plays it back to McGregor, the substitute. Griffiths now. McGregor, nice ball inside to Dembele. Ah, oh, shit. Shit. Well, that keeper, he's got to go. <laughs> that was, that looked very, very savable to me. I mean, this was a nice ball. Lots of Celtic players getting forward. Keeper looked like he intentionally pulled his hands away from that. Damn it. This is it. Final chance here. And it is Jack Harrison. All we've got is a load of space out here for Says, And that's a good ball into him. He cuts back. Ah, oh, McGregor wins it. And that is going to be full time here in the ICC. Gutted. Absolutely gutted. We led for 58 minutes. But then Celtic showed their class. The goal from Dembele at the end was particularly disappointing. I think we deserved a point out of that. But really, I think Bielsa... We'll be heartened by this performance. I think it showed a lot of promise. Uh, Says with a great goal. And we had chances. We really did. And we're certainly lacking quality in a lot of areas. Um, that was a surprising goal to score, really, considering how long the keeper had to look at it. But a goal nonetheless. And uh, we had more possession and we had more shots on target. That's all we can ask for. And 24 interceptions, which is great. That's exactly what this high-pressing, Gagan press style of football should be leading to. Jack Harrison with the 4.5. That's unlucky. I thought he had an alright game. Uh, heat maps, yeah, we had a look at them. They've not really changed much. But Say's had a good game. Uh, Klitsch was good. It seemed to be working, the formation. I don't know. It seemed to be. We'll have to wait and see how it pans out, especially over the course of a season. It may really start to get to us in terms of fatigue. We'll have that. I mean, that remains to be seen. 
And River Plate overcome Valencia. Sees us third in the group. It's unlikely we're going to win this. We'll need to win the next game for certain. So the coach here reminding us that Barry Douglas was playing out of position. Uh, yeah, he sort of was. I guess it's hard to know, really. I guess if the starting position is a central midfielder, then he is technically playing out of position. Even though half the time, in theory, he's playing as a left back. But yeah, if he can learn that, I'd be very happy to keep him in the side. Because uh, he's got some great qualities. So we've had some uh, positive negotiations for all of our South American transfer targets. Our initial ones, except for Emi Buendia. Which is a shame, but he wasn't really a massive target for us. So Isla, Isla, not sure how you say it. Uh, they want two million for a season-long loan. It's very tempting. It's very tempting because I think he'd be excellent. He'd had a real steal and stamina, defensive prowess as well as good passing from that central midfield slash right back position, the inverted wing back. Uh, Pizarro, free transfer. Uh, that'd be nice. I think he'd be good. Defensive midfielder. Central midfielder as well. Don't know how he is at uh, right or left back, but maybe not so great. So Romero, 5.5 million, 700,000 salary. We're going to have to hopefully sell some players. Um, but that's that's actually okay. No release fee. That's a bonus. It's only a year contract to begin with. We have offered them a selling on option of 30%. But I'm, I'd be happy with that. Goal poacher, great with both feet. Uh, decent form, only 19 years old. Quick, uh, good on the ball. Decent balance. Uh, yeah, I think he'd be uh, a quality option as well as Patrick Bamford. Much faster than Bamford. I think he'd be just a better general player to be playing the ball into in this strategy. Um, so let me know what you think about Romero. I'm pretty keen. Buendia, that's a shame. And then Aran Sibia, 1.4 million. Oh, uh, what? I don't understand. How is, why is that minus 500,000? Who's neg who's negotiated that? I'm not. I'm really a little bit lost as to why. That is less than the fee that we agreed. Unless Universidad, unless Universidad Chile are really poor at negotiating. Um, but yeah, he's a, he's a good speeding bullet. Right winger. Another option there. I think for one million. For just over a million with Roberts going the other way. I think that'd be absolutely fine. So there we go. So we could sign Isla, Pizarro. So that'd be two million. Uh, will we have the salary? For everyone else, 400,000 for Pizarro. Romero, 700,000. That's a big salary. for. We wouldn't have the salary. We'll have to sell some players. There will be players going out. But I think those four signings would be a great start. We haven't even looked at some of the club teams. And we haven't even heard from the scout yet. So uh, we may want to just hold off on this at least until the season begins. But we want to start the season with a better squad than we've got now. So let me know in the comments if you want to see the remaining two Champions Cup games or whether you'd like me to play them off air. I'm thinking maybe I'll play them off air because who cares if we win. Although we would get a nice payday, which could be useful. And there we have it. We've had our first goal. We've looked at the new tactics. We're starting to get a feel for some of the players. We know where we need to strengthen. And uh, we know all about Marcelo Bielsa now. And I'm very, very excited for this series. I hope you are too. I'll see you in a bit.